Well, hey friends, <laughs> long time no talk. Um, I have been just sitting with the idea of YouTube for a while. Um, with the idea of where I want my channel to go, what I want to share here, and what I want to represent on the internet. Um, and it's interesting because I've had a lot of stuff come up today, including like a really deep conversation with my sister all about YouTube and finding your niche and sharing authentic content and just all these things. And it was such a good conversation and it all the more just solidified to me that I want to be here. Um, since we lost heart, I have been working my way back to myself. Um, I'll never be that same person again. Sorry, my camera card was full, go figure. So I don't know where that cut off, but um, basically I've been working my way back to myself. And um, as part of that, like I've just gone inward a lot. Um, and it's been hard to post on YouTube, it just is. YouTube is a very kind of look at me environment, very um, show off sort of environment, if you will. I certainly fall into that myself. I'm not um, seeing anything bad about it, but when you're just inwardly reflecting a lot, it is hard to put yourself out there. And there's just been some really practical reasons why I haven't filmed and that is because I've been having a lot of issues with my laptop to the point where it doesn't work, it doesn't turn on and I keep meaning to go get it taken care of and then it starts itself again and it works for a while and then I'm afraid to get into the mode of posting only for it to have to quit working again and have to take another break and it's my husband bought me this laptop last year for Mother's Day and it was a great gift um, and it was specifically for YouTube. We got like a really big sort of, it could hold all the things and it could handle editing and 4K video and blah blah blah, except that it has needed a lot of repair, which really stinks. Um, that all aside, I'm going to see if I can just, if they'll like give me a new one, but again, all of that to say. Um, I've, I have been really working on what I want to share here. Um, there are things that you're rarely going to see from me on my channel. And I've really struggled with finding, like, what is my niche? What do I share? I mean, you could, if I said organization, there are immediate channels that come to your mind. If I said finances or budgeting channels are coming to your mind or large family living you're thinking of these people um homeschool all these niches and I'm like I don't really fit into like I feel like I don't fit into anything in particular and so sometimes it really feels hard to share and grow <laughs> if I'm really 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 totally honest um a few years ago, I decided I wanted to just stay small. I was not at all concerned about growth with my channel. Um, I was concerned about the connection. Um, a lot of people start YouTube to make money and to support their family and um, have a career or something to do. And so they start YouTube. And that's great and wonderful. I, that, I have no problem with that at all. It's just that that's not my motivation. My motivation to share has always been to encourage women exactly where they're at in their home. And my tagline has been for years now where we talk about all things heart and home. And that has just been my heart. And in all of that, I just want to point you back to Jesus. Because for me, none of this means anything if it's not about him. And so I have been running myself ragged, trying to figure out what I want to share here, how I want to share, what is meaningful to you, like what drew you here. Um, 
and how I can continue to just authentically share my life. Um, I am not someone that you look at and who has like some sort of like skill that I can teach you. I am not like a gardener or a homesteader or um, someone who's like amazing at homeschooling and I can teach you all the things. I There's not a whole lot I feel like I can actually teach you. I'm naturally an organized person, but I don't like to clean. Um, I do it because I have to, but I just, to teach people how to organize this doesn't light me on fire. It doesn't light a candle under my butt. <laughs> Is that a phrase? No, it's not. But it doesn't excite me and it doesn't make me want to get up and, and share my life. Um, and one day I happened, this is, it's so funny because I have these moments that happen and I, they're God moments really. I am not on Facebook anymore. I quit that in like 2017, but every once in a while I go back on to see what's going on to catch up on some groups. Um, and I, there was a stint for a while there where I was like trying to get back into it. I couldn't, I can't, no. Um. But this was one of those moments where I was checking in on a group. It was actually the Trim Healthy Mama group. And a woman there was posting about wanting to make her home environment cozy and to make her family want to be there. And to, she wanted to know how to create a warm and welcoming home. And that lit something in me. And I shared with her like some things um, but that lit the fire. That lit the candle under my butt. <laughs> um, and I realized, like, right then and there, the Lord was speaking to me, saying, like, this is what you need to share. You need to share how to create a home that people long to be at. Because our homes are a picture on earth of heaven. Our hearts long for home. And if you're out in the world, nine times out of ten, you're longing just to get back home, right? And our hearts are ultimately longing to go back home with Jesus. And he told us that he's gone to prepare a place for us. Home is everything. And I realized, like, it for me, that's what I want to share here. It's not how to decorate. It's not how to meal plan it's not how to like buy all the stuff to have the look that you want or any of that can it be little bits and pieces here and there yeah i think so but there's so much more to it and that is i think the place that i want to share with my channel i feel like i've gotten stuck because i feel like there's there's trends on youtube i've been on here a really long time like longer than i even want to care to admit because my growth doesn't match how long I've been on here because I take these breaks because I'm trying to figure out like where I want to be in this space. I don't want to do cleaning videos. If I did a bunch of cleaning videos, I have a feeling I would gain a lot of subscribers because that's, it's trendy right now and people are looking for that kind of content. Same with meal planning and budgeting and some of these other things that instantly blow up channels. I just want to share authentically where I'm at and share like how to create a home and how to make this space speak for you and your family that y'all want to be there that that it's a picture of as close to heaven on earth as we can get because our hearts are longing for home and I want to encourage women not just moms not just wives but encourage women exactly where they're at with their everyday life you don't see a lot of like um I don't I don't have a fancy life I don't have high-end things I don't go like crazy fancy places or like go on lots of trips or anything I I have this very normal life right before I started where'd my phone go <clears throat> Right before I started filming this video, I was laying on my bed. It's been a flip-flop kind of a day. We've had a lot of new things happen. Namely, um, Shane started a job today, and it's the first job that he's had since 
um, we lost heart. He lost, he, his job was over with the same weekend we lost heart. Um, and so this is the first job that he's had in seven months. And so, um, it's just been a real kind of shift for us today. And so I was just laying on my bed, kind of taking a little time out for myself. Um, and I was looking on Instagram at my friend Christy Fay, um, at her Insta stories. And she posted this screenshot um, from the book Dwelling. And I'll see if I can leave some info about that. Um, it's from, I think it's Melissa Michaels. She ha runs the Inspired Room blog. Um, and she's got some really great content. Anyways, she wrote this devotional called Dwelling. And I really want to get it. And Christy's reading through it. And she shared this screenshot, and I wanted to share some of this with you because as soon as I finished reading this, actually even before I finished, I got up and I knew I needed to come talk to you. So this is what it says. Your home is the haven for what is most precious to you. It isn't a show place to, to elevate who you are. Where we live does not define us. Even an unexpected choice can be delightful. We should never feel pressured or tempted to keep, what, keep up with or designed for the Joneses, or to place too high significance on what others think about our decisions. Make choices that bring more peace to your life as you consider the place you call home right now and all the improvements you'd like to make. What matters most to you, your present and future well-being is the quality of life you choose and what freedom those choices bring to you and your family. A healthy sense of well-being doesn't depend on where we live or what we have, but how we live where we are. And as I started to read through those words, I took a screenshot, I was like, this is it. Like, this is what I want to share and live out. And this is who I want to be. Like, I don't want to share with you anything about my life or my home to ever try and impress you or make you feel less than. I want to come at you to serve you and to encourage you exactly where you're at. Y'all, like, I don't know. It's so heavy on my heart. Our homes are the lives that we live here and how to create this home that serves you and serves your family and everyone who enters your door well and that's the place that I want to start sharing from when it comes to my channel. I don't know what that's going to look like um, going forward. I have a few ideas but I'll be honest I'm, I'm just not entirely sure. There's things that I love to share here um, that may not quite line up with that. I don't know like I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just not sure. Um, but that's the bent that I want to come at YouTube with and where I want to be in the noise that is YouTube and all of the things that shout at you every day. My hope is that you would come into this space and you would leave encouraged exactly where you're at. You don't have to have this, that, and the next thing. You don't have to swipe up and support me in any way. You don't have to buy my stuff. You don't have to click this thing you just need to show up exactly as you are I'll show up exactly as I am and together we're just going to encourage each other on this journey called life so that we can be the best women that we possibly can be authentic encouraging life-giving so that we can go out into our worlds and be that to other people and in turn we can just change some lives. That's, that's my hope. And that we could create spaces and homes that people long to be in from the shelter of the outside world that just wants to tear us all down. May this space, this home that you're creating, that I'm creating, be a shelter. Y'all, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I've got my flaws. I have got all the things. I, y'all, I could just list them all. And I'm sure the people in my immediate world could tell you too. But my hope is to always be becoming better than where I'm at. Um, 
and that's what I hope that I can in encourage you and inspire you with too so anyways that's where I'm at guys I don't know what's happening with my laptop I don't know how or when I'm going to be able to post if there's a, a length in time where I'm not it's likely because of my laptop find me on Instagram I post there almost daily I share my insta stories um, I share more home life and organization and just all of the real everyday life stuff there too and my posts I kind of come from the same place that's a raw real authentic vulnerable kind of encouragement if you're here for that and you're here for that this for the first time like here at sweetly home and you want to be a part of it just click subscribe and if it's not your thing and you say I was here for something else you can leave and I bless you thanks for being here while you were here um y'all love you I will say one more thing there will be some more Disney vlogs coming you don't I really got to clean out my camera card <laughs> um those Disney vlogs they are just something that I that's so personal to me that I really want to share for this sake of my own family memories um and to share with our families our trip so they are slowly coming if you see them and you're not interested don't click on them um I'm not turning into a Disney channel it was just a really special experience for our family so anyways guys thank you for um hanging out with me today and I hope to really talk to you soon come find me over on Instagram and then we can really connect over there that's kind of my home away from YouTube um yeah Anyways, thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.